Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games that have been sent in by you. My name is Peter. And my name is Ben. Hello Ben. Hello Peter, are oh. you ready for a good game? I'm so ready for a good game that I will be playing today as this week's Games Victim. <gasps> Which means that by shooting away that job position, yes, England words, mm -hmm. I am this week's Games Master. Oh. And that means that you are bringing a game along for me as the victim to play, uh, as mm. well as some hot and fresh science facts about it. Absolutely. And what am I playing this week? Mm. You're in position, holding the ultimate hit hyphen man rifle. Looking down the scope, you spot your next victim. With your heart pumping violently, you know that this is your one and only chance to take them out. You steady your breathing, take aim, and fire with two exclamation marks. Is it Hitman 4? No, it is The Sniper 2. The Sniper 2, not the Sniper, Sniper Elite. Two. Just yes, not Sniper Elite and also not The Sniper as well. Oh yeah. It's the, the Sniper and then the number two. Right, okay. Just, it's rather than Sniper Elite, it's kind of Sniper Regular. Yeah, it's just a Sniper 2. Sniper worse than most, too. Precisely. You're about to find out. Okay, great. Let's, let's do it. Oh, oh boy. There it is. <laughs> that says it all. It's worst game's ever favourite, Midas Interactive. Everything he touches turns to plops. Turns to absolute worst game's plops. <laughs> oh. There it is. That's him. That's the guy we've got to get. Oh, wow. It's, it's kind of... I'm not sure what I think about this music. Oh, well, now Ooh, I like it. Oh, there it is. There's the <laughs> trumpets. Yes, the real orchestra. First fact, London Philharmonic Orchestra provided this... They didn't. <laughs> oh, what's that? Are, they, are we going to get run over? Oh, there's just some headlights. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You don't need training. Who's got time for that? Oh, look how the, the selector makes everything negative. That's pretty cool. Is that us or is that just the game? We're um, going to be asking that question a lot, I think. Yeah. Potentially. Oh, there's another car. Look out. Oh, wow. It's very stylized, isn't it? Oh, we've got a sound test. Can I press X on this? Oh! <laughs> oh, so someone's Nokia 3310's ringing. Can I select a different ringtone? Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, we can just cycle through all the... Dinner, dinner. So, facts for The Sniper 2 yeah. are really, really hard to come by. Uh, I would like to say off right off the bat that it is not based on Sniper 2, a 2002 American made-for-television action film directed right. by Craig R. Baxley and starring Tom Berenger, Bokeem Woodbine, Dan Butler and Lyndon Ashby. It's not that one. Good fact. Just in case you weren't you weren't aware. You still enjoying these sound tests? These it's, like, it's like the MIDI sample tracks on a, key, a Casio keyboard. <laughs> it is, yeah. When you get bored in music class. Yeah. You just set them all going at once. We had one in our at our school that had the Star Wars theme on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was pretty good. The Sniper, or The Sniper 2 Bullet of Nightmare, if you want to get Japanese about this, yeah. is a 2002 in Japan and 2004 in Europe video game released for the PlayStation 2. Developed by Best Media and published by D3 Publisher in Japan and Midas Interactive Entertainment in Europe, the game is a sequel to the Japan-only PlayStation game. Are you ready for this one? The Sniper. No, Simple 1500 Series Volume 056, The Sniper. Right, okay. You know the one, Simple 1500 Series Volume 056, The Sniper. Colon Bullet of Nightmare. <laughs> no, they just gave it a cool <laughs> subtitle in the sequel. Right. 
Um, oh! Uh, it was defaulted to continue. Oh. Oh, oh no okay. data. Damn, imagine that. Oh. I can press X on them and it, it will make a noise. What is that noise? I don't know, it's weird. It's like when you throw a... You throw a pebble down a well. Down a fro yeah, on a frozen lake or something. Okay, well, I guess I just have to back out of here. Oh, oh. Out of there. oh it made a sad noise. You don't oh monster. Oh Right, here we go, new game. Oh Oh god the noise. I don't even think that's an emulator issue, I think that's just Was that it? That's all we needed. Yeah, just some road. The sniper. Hard heart. Heart of Hard heavy rain. nailed shooting game. Oh, oh, his name Harry C. Spencer, a firefighter. During the rescue of a girl named Melissa, he stumbled across a counterfeiting ring. As a result, he lost his job and his girlfriend. What's he doing? Claire Anderson, just, we just need to enjoy this, Peter. Okay. With anger, Harry swore revenge upon her killers. Leaving the city, he trained under an ex-military vet to become a killer. Time passed. Harry, now a top-ranked sniper, returned to the corrupt city in order to exact his revenge. There, he received a phone call from a girl who called herself only C.A. She offered to provide him with information on the Mafia's activities. <laughs> what is Even happening? through his lingering doubts, Harry strangely found that he could bring himself to trust C.A. So with her help and advice, Harry began a concerted attack on the Mafia. It was only after killing the Mafia oh. and leading his revenge that C.A. appeared before him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, That's gosh. not what a sniper does. <laughs> Yeah, they dropped billboards on people. Saved. What is more, she possessed the memories of Harry's murdered girlfriend, Claire. Oh, so this is the previous so game. In confusion, their journey began. A journey in search of something lost. And that's what happened in Sniper 1, Bullet of See, Heaven. See, I'm, I'm not sure that it is, you know, unless the, the graphics suddenly, you know, change massively. It looks like a PS1 game. But based on the synopsis that I managed to find online, which was literally that entire cutscene I was reading with this... Oh. Okay, yeah, it was clear. Here he is. His PS2, Harry. <laughs> what, that was a man, was it, in the driver's seat? I think so. Not someone's day, is it? Is he going to stop to help? Sorry. No. He's very beautiful and feminine. Why didn't you stop and help him? Why didn't you stop and help him? We can't afford to stand out, take risks. So we just leave him stranded in the middle of the desert? Oh, she's a bit... I don't get the feeling that many cars come this way. Robotic? And even if another one does... She's a bit kind of Claire Redfield well. slash Jill Sandwich. Yeah. Look, right now... Right now has nothing to do with this. <laughs> if this mess is going to make you stop being yourself, maybe you should just get caught. <laughs> oh, oh, God. He's, he's had an... Oh, he's had enough. You're right, CA. I have had my revenge. I don't have to live oh, is this like him thinking? To be on edge all the time. Off he okay. goes. He he drives Lady Penelope's car. He does. Off of the Lady Penelope. Thunderbirds. My name's Stanley Jones. I'm a precision engineer for Aquarium Electronics. An engineer? I would have thought an engineer. Everyone's clothing is just like the default prime color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the default color with no shading. themselves now. I know how they feel. <laughs> oh no. no oh, God. this is horrible. Harry Spencer, former firefighter. <laughs> I'm Claire. She's called Claire. She is called Claire, Claire yeah. They call me CA. Hmm. Uh, where have I heard those names? Somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, is this a baddie? Oh. What was that noise? <laughs> I'm hungry too. Let's go. Oh, okay. That was a tummy, <laughs> right? I thought there was a cougar on the back seat. <laughs> oh, he winked. Guys, my life it'll be my treat. I insist. We saved his life, did we? I suppose so. He could have. He could have parched wow. to death out in that desert. So my oh, there's the music. So my the sniper too. That was it. That was the intro we needed. Roll credits. Absolutely nothing to do with sniping. Just on, let's let this roll for a second. The synopsis I have of the first game, that that Claire there, C A. Yeah. Uh, apparently, that was the little girl he rescued all those years ago. Uh, this is what my synopsis says. Planner. She'd grown a bit, but she was still a kid who, for some reason, possessed the memories of his beloved Claire. 
Yeah, that's what he said in, in the intro there. So Claire died, which made him chase the Mafia. He right. saved a little girl. The little girl came back a few years later, but she's got the memories of his dead girlfriend. Yeah, it's very kind of Konami, Capcom. Oh. These are haunting, haunting renderings. They're weird, aren't characters. they? Gabriel Stefan Ashton Frank. But, but yeah, of course the little girl grew up to have the memories of the dead woman. That's what happens when yeah. your game is made by a Japanese company. That's just Well, that. <laughs> certainly what's happened here. Yeah, Blood Red Dusk. Yeah, what? Yeah. Am I going to do any sniping at any point? Oh, no, we I think we got a lot. We're going to snipe the ketchup bottle off the bar. Preston's... Oh! That's a different squeal to MP3 entirely. <gasps> Comic Sans! There it is. Beep, that is Comic Sans. Why is he walking like that? Ouch. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Sephiroth's here now. Oh, it's Gabrielle Armitage. Of the Armitage Shanks. Yeah. yeah. Very sorry. The, the toilet fortune. Ooh, scary guy. <laughs> what, what was Three that? Chicken specials and some coffees as well. Wow, this is is so weird, isn't it? Oh, it's just the strangest. It's so so <laughs> weird. Why did we need that camera angle? Well, there is I think the director of this game is playing. There's the scary guy there he is that over the there, <laughs> just waiting for his noodles. I think the director of this game played a lot of. Uh, Hideo Kojima games. Yeah, yeah. Because we're getting a lot of voice actors subtitles when they're first on screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, John Schwab. Guy, the one Stanley bumped into back there. Oh, him. He was a little scared. I like the dots hovering in the middle of the sentence. Oh, oh my God, speak faster, no. please. But he smells the same as I do. Oh, he smells the same as I do. Smells the same Harry, as I do. What the hell does smell. that mean? You don't smell, Harry. I mean, the smell of a killer. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> just, just shoot me. Sure, you're not just thinking too much. And anyway, he is totally different from you. He didn't seem half as cold for one thing. What? What? Harry! <laughs> Harry! Whoa! Oh no! What? I can't hear him over. Pion, pion, pion. Why is no one hiding Don't in the van? Don't call me boss. Look at that sunset. Blood red sun, right? Yeah. Pion, pion. Wow, they are oh, terrible at their the jobs. recoil. Stanley, use this. Stanley. <laughs> what? She's thrown a sniper rifle to us. You gotta shoot that boss. No. I have a reasonable idea. I am okay. the sniper too. On the other hand, has never been good with things that kill people. Oh, just give him the bloody gun, will you? Oh my oh, god! Whoa, Abby is nailing it. Oh no! Hey Stanley, looks like your angel has misplaced her halo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! A granite! Bad news, boss. Oh my god, why is everyone so blasé about everything that's happening? How have we not played this sooner? We've been sitting on this game for a long time. The 2D fire effects, I love it all. It's it's just, this reminds me a lot, and the, the Dreamcast diehards are going to be very upset, but this reminds me a lot of late 90s Dreamcast mm -hmm. games. Just sort of weird, shiny, polygonal people Yeah. who look and sound wrong. How did she get all the way over on the other side of the thing? Miracle, we need a miracle. Christ. Thank God. Are you going to play now? Da, 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 da. Snipe the mafiosi and save, and save car. car. Peter, how much do you reckon this game is going for on Amazon.com? Oh, I bet there's a cult following and it's at least £8. Ooh. £18.61. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I can set uh. the time. I oh, know I can't. Oh. Oh, you can change it. Can you change your starting point? Oh, what? Wow. What? <laughs> Is, in one of them, are you just hovering? What's the... I'm up in the air in one of them, yeah. Let's go to B, then. That's fun. Yeah, you are. You're just hovering. 
Hello. Okay, any buttons working for you? Oh, D-pad left and right works. Up and down yeah. doesn't. Use square button to switch to scope. Right. Okay. Okay, there she is. She's being shot. From... So I can't go up and down when I'm outside of... Oh, but I can... Oh, there you are. You're on a... I can, I can walk. What a weird place. There's like, there's no car park. There's no like concrete foundations around the building. It's just dirt. Where are, where are the people? Oh, there. Can you see him? Oh, there he is. Get him. Oops. Oh. The controls are very weird. Yeah, it seems that way. Right, ready? Yeah. Oh, you can see the bullet. Hit. <laughs> Hit. Are you ready for 12 hours of cutscenes now? Oh, for God's sake. Is that it? There was only one enemy. We get a cool slow-mo grading. A. A. Dana, 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 Dana. Right, we've now probably got about three more cutscenes before I get to yep. shoot anyone else. Oh, man, you red hot. Everyone is just standing around in the open. No, that was it. We just needed to hear him react. Next Save. stage, well done, Peter. I'm going to go next stage. You are the sniper too. I am. Oh, I can't wait to hear what he's got to say. No, here they come. They're running with guns. You want to hide? No? Don't worry. I see them. Yes, more action. Oh, come on. We're going right in there. Na, na, na. <laughs> Defeat the advancing mafiosi. <laughs> oh, Where man, a mafia coming this way. The mafia are, they... are coming this... Oh, oh there they are. They're, they're going in and out of cover. Oh, oh, I he's killed Pierce Brosnan there. What goes on in this town is none of your business. Oh. Oh. I've yeah. run out of ammo. We get a screenshot, not a screenshot, we get the replay. Yeah. Wow. You really killed the heck out of that dude, my man. Grading A+. Plus. A+, plus. what Why made that one so much on better? Guy? I don't know. Um, a++ plus plus would buy from again. Whoa. 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 Hey. You okay? Ha! Bring them all on. This guy needs to hide. That was a close one. There's another guy in there, right? Yeah, there was another. That was it. Why are we celebrating? There's still a guy in there with a gun. Unless this is stage three, of course. Yeah. Oh, she's still out there hiding behind the bin. Hey, boss, over there. Yeah, there he is. We've got to keep her safe. She's got the memory of our dead girlfriend. Yeah, we don't want to lose those memories. We've got to keep her alive. Can I make da, it? Na, na, na. Oh, there he is. Look. He's got to cross it's through the other guy. Off. Still got Pierce to get. <laughs> Take out the lurking mafiosi. Right. It's not mafiosi, it's mafioso. Uh -huh. You don't take him out quick, she's going to get shot. I've got one bullet. Look. Okay, I think he'll pop out of the front, probably. That's what the photo showed. Huh? Oh. oh, where is he? He was there. Was he? Yeah, I saw his arm. Well, you really don't have long, do you? Got to walk along here, maybe. Ten seconds. Can you snipe her? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Oh, oh. no, I missed. Miss. Oh no, what's the She's gonna die screen? now. Oh, game over. Game it over, mate. Better not make me do it all again. Try again. Okay. Hopefully, you didn't need to save it. Okay. Okay. You okay. Rah, 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 rah. So, of course, this game features quite heavily, Peter, on our favourite site that we go to every so often. Oh, I'm sure it does. Crappy Games Wiki, who have an entire section called Why It Sucks. Yeah. Would you like to hear some of them? I'd love to hear Why It Sucks. Awful graphics for a PS2 game, with everything consisted of blocky models and low... <laughs> Not target. Low quality textures. Pretty ugly, Harry. Pretty ugly, Harry. <laughs> right. Okay. Another point. Strange, inconsistent story, which is full of plot holes. The entire story revolves around one of the most stupid plot twists in video game history, Whoa. which had received no foreshadowing in the first game and is never explained, let alone solved. The opening cutscene heavily implies that the point of the whole game is to find an explanation to this twist, but it's quickly shelved and never explored. Uh. 
Yes, Ooh. right in the neck hole. Yeah, a little neck shot there. Whoa! Whoa! Bullet cam. Brilliant. Eat your heart out, Sniper Elite. Yeah. Not even close. Show me which of his vital organs hey, I took plus, out. Yeah. I plus again. Get him in his man balloons. Yeah. Localized by a team who were obviously unaware or just didn't care that the original game never came out in the West. For this reason, the story is very hard to follow as the player is expected to have prior knowledge of the first game. Harry! Harry! Oh my god, he's still alive! He got shot in the neck! No! No! <laughs> what? what? What just happened? Oh! Spooky man? Hey, it's that guy again. Why is it so foggy now? I don't know. Oh, it was a smoke grenade. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Are you playing? No. No. Fire. Kill them both. Who is that guy? It's just conveniently got foggy. Damn. 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 There goes my proxy wife. Yeah. Who I met when she was a child, which is a bit weird. What? Wait. Surely this is another intro cutscene, right? What the hell? This is surely just another really dramatic intro where we needed to... It better to... be. We've already seen all these, though. <laughs> Why is everyone underwater? <laughs> I think this is a James Bond riff, no? We Just but with a bit of light jazz there instead of Tina Turner. And it's not, it's not moving... It cannot be emphasised enough how the entire plot basically occurs because the protagonist, Harry, decided to give a ride to a random hitchhiker on the road, who then accompanied him to a food kiosk that just so happened to be run by a CIA agent undercover where the main villain was, an, was expecting them. Right. Said hitchhiker tags along for most of the game, and yet he has no backstory, nor does he have a motive to fight the main villain. <laughs> okay. This is so bizarre. At what point do I skip this? <laughs> you're, those are very important photos and names that you're going to miss out. Kasumi Goto. They're double-sided. I'm fairly sure Kasumi... Hang on, I've got to Google this. Right, okay. On screen, Peter. Yeah. Kasumi Goto is a character and a party member in Mass Effect 2. Oh, wow, okay. This game is, was ahead of its time in a lot of ways. It was. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for done it. Midas again get another Wait, shout out at what the is end. happening? <laughs> this is one of the weirdest games I've ever played in my life. <laughs> right. Yeah, you did it. That was it. We just got another intro. Of betrayal. Oh, he, oh, hello. The darkness. Oh, he, hello? he talks now about Talk what the next time. stage is called. The main villain barely does anything in the story. He appears a total of thrice, it says. <laughs> it's saying Sniper 2 again, just so you know. What? Isn't this where we got the the people's names last time? Are we going to get it again? Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> it's the same music! Uh... The main villain barely does anything. He appears a total of thrice before the final mission and meets the protagonist only once. I'm so distracted by that <laughs> bloody drawing again doesn't have a reason to do what he does and gets reduced to the protagonist's sidekick near the end of the game. When this happens, there is no one to step up to the plate, is what it says. I don't know what that means. Right. Can you skip this? Um... Yes. Right. Game of Betrayal. This is so weirdly structured. CIA hideout. Here's the hideout. They brought the hitchhiker along for some reason. Yeah, yeah, there he is. And there's the comic Sam. Gabriel Armitage. Coincidentally, as well as being an assassin of renowned skill in the underworld, this Gabriel is also the mysterious man who just carried CA off. So whilst I thought those mafia thugs were gunning for me, seems they were actually cleaners dispatched He's by speaking the really fast. Gabriel. Yeah. One more thing. That gas we just breathed in is a nasty little biological weapon called Tacklemacan, developed in secret cells. Tacklemacan. Days of exposure, <laughs> victims fall ill and then suffer rapid physiological breakdown. So in exchange for getting CA's location from Abby, we're going to be giving her a hand retrieving this bioweapon. Oh, and one more thing: that smoke grenade was actually poisoned fart. Yeah. Gabriel is former CIA. He took the test samples and antidote for the American military's top secret Tackle McCann project. <laughs> Tackle McCann. Tackle <laughs> McCann. Does not sound real. <laughs> so the gas is originally U.S. military? Yes. The CIA are trying to get it back before the whole mess blows wide open. 
But for Gabriel, former CIA, you guys are walking targets. Right. He knows every trick in our book. <sighs> which is why, rather than a full CIA... Oh, we're spit asking it for out. In order to retrieve the Tackle McCann and antidote that is <laughs> It's in quotes so far, because it's such a made up word. The mafia. <laughs> They'll give something away about Gabriel eventually. The next Another point on the crappy games wiki. Number three, dull and monotonous gameplay. Number four, awful cutscenes with little to no animation, wooden voice acting, text in the middle of the screen, and laughably bad dialogue. There it is, text in the middle of the screen. And also, the text font is in Comic Sans, the worst font ever known, it says. <laughs> The dialogue is horrible. Most of it being most of it being either generic special agent speech or lines that attempt really hard to be dark and serious only to end up as unintentionally funny when viewed alongside the game's horrible cutscenes yeah. or put in the context of the game's horrible story. I can't change my point here, but I can change the time of day. Oh, nice. Should we have night? Let's go for night. Let's try it. Number 6, terrible physics. It goes on. There's there's so much that's wrong with this game according oh. to the crappy games wiki but those are the ones that i copied oh i've got a oh, minute wow. do you know what you're even looking for no can i climb this ladder no it's just placed right in the center of where you spawn in yeah your viewpoint but it's not you can't do it there's a guy walking over the street over there he's just money loving scum who who is Oh, that's really bad. So when I come out of my scope, I can't look up or down. I'm stuck looking like this oh unless I go God. into the scope. He's arrived. Who who has? Where? Who's arrived? Who's arrived? Where where have they arrived? Where have they arrived? Who's arrived? Who's arrived? Got twenty five seconds left. I'm gonna shoot, have to just take a just punt. Shoot, just shoot <laughs> that guy. Oops, I missed. He's not fussed, though. Oh, yeah, I only have one bullet. All the best assassins. <laughs> For <laughs> God's <laughs> sake. I'm the best sniper in the world. I only need one bullet. That, yeah. seems, that seems illogical. Why wouldn't you the take more than one? The man with the one? golden gun. Ian Gardner, he's wearing a, a tie and a suit. Oh, did it say that? Okay. Where it just it showed a picture of him. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's see. That's good intel there. That's a little bit of, yeah, some major insights there. Right, should we just wait and... Look for someone to arrive. He's arrived. Where? So if he's arriving, he'll be on the street somewhere. Maybe below us. I don't know. Kind of waiting for a car to turn up or something. He's just money-loving scum. Yeah, he is. Who's who's so saying who this? It? Abby. Maybe. Get off the get off the comms, Abby. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, there's all this over here as well. He's arrived. Okay, look down. I think it might be down. Someone's arriving at the plaza. But it's blocked by the bloody railing. Oh, there he is, maybe, by the taxis? No. That seems to be two women there. That appears to be two ladies. No, that's not him. He's walking really fast, though. Where is he? He's arrived. He's arrived. Where? Oh, game, don't do that. <laughs> -na -na -na. Oh, for Christ's sake. Right, let's have one more look at this photo. Yeah. How long do you think it would take you to beat this game? Oh, I dread to think. I mean, it depends if you skipped all the cutscenes. Mm. If, if you skipped all the cutscenes, probably not that long. I bet there's not that much gameplay. Um, I'll say two and a quarter hours. 1.5 hours. Right. That's the average amount of time to beat this game. Okay. Right, okay, so yeah, he's he got is. sort of... He's in a suit and tie. He's got mm -hmm. longish hair. He seems to have an entourage in that photo. I don't know if that means yeah. he'll have one in, in the street. Uh, and there was a picture of... the. Let's have daytime, see if that helps. Mm -hmm. And there's a picture of, like, the church in the first photo. So maybe he's... Maybe he's off to church. Maybe what he only turns we... turns up at a certain time of day and you have to, like, scout it out and pick the right daytime. Oh, man, I think you're, you're giving them way too much credit. Yeah. What if we just shout, Ian, and see who looks up? He's just money-loving scum. Can I definitely not... Ian Gardner! Ian Gardner. 
He's arrived. <laughs> Where? He's arrived. Where? He's arrived. Where? You clearly can see things that we can't. Is that him down there? No. Just again, a really quick person. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh there's people. Which one is he? The second one? Oh, I oh missed. beans. That's four people, though. That could be him. That could be that. Yeah, so we think he might be arriving on that street. The bullet moves so slowly, though. You have to, like, preempt. Yeah, look, yeah. there's a woman, two men, and, a, and then him yeah, in the I middle. I think. I think you've spotted him. Yeah. You found he moves so quickly. Yeah, the, he does. And it's going to be really difficult to time the bullet. I have some Amazon reviews for you. Okay. This is from Cameron, who gave it five stars and says, Ideal for JRPG fans with do drugs. With do drugs. And Cameron says, This is like the best worst game of all time. I kept laughing throughout. If you like JRPGs, then this is the worst one in the most hilarious ways and it relies on all the stereotypes of JRPs in its story to get by making it even more hilarious. I don't know what Cameron thinks a JRPG is, mm. but this is not that. No. This is just, it's a J. It is, isn't it? It's not a JRPG at all. Right, here we go. A, a JG. Okay. Right in his bowels. Yes. Oh, you got him! In the hip. Oh, he's dead. It's You've probably only a B, because I got him in the leg. In the bowels. Yeah, oh. oh. Someone just disappeared there. Yeah. A, a plus. plus! Wow, brilliant ball shot, Peter. You can do no wrong in this game, as long as you don't kill innocent civilians. I still oh, don't understand go. why you got an A in the first no, one I for a headshot, the but there we go. The perfect headshot. Hey, boss, about Abby. Why is this guy still with us? He's a hitchhiker, and now he's at CIA HQ. What? I have absolutely no idea. No, uh, eh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Okay. 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 Metal Gear. You worried about CA, huh? Yeah. Do we have to cut back between them oh, for every single line? <laughs> they can be strange, but sometimes we just have to trust in it. Mm. Also, if he's known CA. If he's like, knows her very personally. Oh, come off it. Come <laughs> off it. This is a joke. <laughs> it's like an episode. It's like every every single outing we have is one episode and then the credits roll and then you come back next week. Yeah. You know, you don't want to consume all of your Sniper 2 in one sitting, do you? No. Next stage, Labyrinthine Ambitions. You gotta take it slow. What's the no. next stage called? Labyrinthine ambitions. Maybe and the darkness. The sniper two. Welcome back, Here everyone. We are. Let's, Last week. <laughs> let's look at the weird photos again. So this next review is from Colin. Labyrinthine. He said labyrinthine. I think. <laughs> of course he did. So Colin gave it one star. Okay. And said sniper two. Or one word. Common sense should have made me realise why this game was so cheap. It's dreadful. <laughs> It would have been an alright game if I still owned a Commodore 64, I suppose. Uh -huh. For sale. Sniper 2 only half played. Oh. Oh, he's got it. Harry. That you, CA? You okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. But I've got some info for you. Tonight, a mafia exchange is taking place at Hotel Low. You have to stop Hotel Low? That was an I. It's because she read the script in a different font where uppercase oh, I's God. look like lowercase L's. So good. Oh, they're trying to sell on the Tackle McCain. Tackle McCain. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's a guy. He's got his hands in his pockets. Can't We've... change the time of day. I can change the point of view, though. Why? What is the difference? I can just move slightly to the left. <laughs> B surely gives you a better view. I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, yeah. let's go stop these tackle McCann monsters. Yeah, let's. Oh. Oh wow. Hello. Oh, I'm in the. This is CA. How is it? Oh, it's wobbly. Can you see it from there? Can we see what from where? Oh. Sorry, the footing is so bad. That's the only spot I could arrange. With this, like these platforms shouldn't wobble like this. Like, How is she arranging a sniper like position for me from so being taken like, hostage ah, by evil guy? Oh, there he is. Where? I have absolutely no idea. 
Right, those guys haven't changed. Is he in front of the building? I'm going to get the guy in the green suit. Okay. Oh, I oh, damn. Brave choice of suit, but you'd live today. Oh, there goes. There goes a the guy. <laughs> I didn't really think to take a look at the photo again this time, so I best just do that. Oh, there's a church every time, so that doesn't tell right. you anything. Five stars. Right. This game it's... is epic. I love it when it plays the credits of the game after killing someone. <laughs> is a Google review. That's a good review. So it's just a guy with his hands in his pockets passing by the fountain. I don't even know if that's a clue. Yeah, I don't remember seeing a fountain there, but... Sarah Mann gave it five stars. Brilliant quality, she said. Addictive... Addictive... <laughs> hang on. Addictive game brilliant play. A... Uh, Sorry? Okay. Ver verified purchase. She bought it. Addictive. Wow. Brilliant play, guys. Why does it spawn me looking this way? I don't know, because it's terrible, isn't it? Oh, maybe he's on the roof. Do you think? Yeah, he's going to do come and do a deal with this woman. Oh, that looks or like that Abby? Abby. It looks like Abby. Where? There he is. There he is. That's him. He's shady as hell. Is he going to stop moving? Oh, yes. excellent job. I don't think that is Abby. I think it's the person he's trying to sell the toclophane to. The trackle madame. Oh, that's a face. A, not good enough. Oh, no. They only shot him in the back of the spine. Go on, give me those credits. No, not yet. No, that was Abby. Explain yourself, Abby. It was Abby. Why were you there? Why were you there? Don't tell me. That was your work? Don't tell me. I was undercover, of course. After letting him squirm for a little longer, he was to be added to the hit list. You weren't undercover. You were in your normal so, business suit. <laughs> we could tell it was you immediately. <laughs> it's my job to gather information. Don't go taking matters into your You look your like if Aerith from Final okay. Fantasy VII got an office job. Hey, yeah, I thought she had a bit of an Aerith vibe about her, yeah. Nothing much. And here's our hey, guy, boss. everyone's favourite friend, well, who anyway. has no reason to be. Is that just a pile of pizza like boxes it. in the background? No, it's weird <laughs> stairs. Okay. Right, I'm skipping this. Have you seen my weird stairs? You better not skip this. No, definitely not. But while this plays, because I don't really want to see any more of this, and I don't think you want to play anymore. No, I don't. I'm going to read you the two sort of professional reviews I could find online. Okay. It's not on Metacritic. Uh, the widely cited only review came from Thunderbolt Games. Okay. I will read you the review and then you can tell me what they gave it out of right. 10 or out of 100, whichever you'd prefer. This isn't a, uh, this isn't a deliberately short review of a game that I obviously hate. This is a full attention to detail look at what this pile of trash has to offer. Unbelievably poor graphics, surely clipping and entire objects disappearing was a thing of the past. Dire <laughs> gameplay, of which there is very little, which may be a plus point as well as a down one, it says. Shocking <laughs> acting, and absolutely no pull to go back again after the power has been switched off, makes The Sniper 2 the worst game I have ever played. Unbelievably poor, shocking, and dire. I've had a lot of fun today. It was, it's so weird and bad. So, I don't know. They probably gave it 10%, one out of 10. Bingo. Yeah. 10%, one out of 10. It also has a score of 1.09 out of 10 on GameFAQs, with a reviewer calling it the worst game on the PS2. Oh my God. I mean, it's pretty low, isn't it? Oh, I'm perfectly timed there. Brilliant. Midas Interactive Entertainment, everyone. You, you just need to skip the next cutscene and then we'll get another intro that we can we can do the outro over. Yeah, right? you're right. So we, did, we do that, go to the next, next stage. Next stage. Next stage, Downtown Blues. Downtown Down, Blues. Downtown Blues. Well, there Welcome we go. Welcome to the Sniper 2. The Sniper is right. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for coming along this week. We hope you've enjoyed pro probably, I'm going to say it, the yeah. strangest worst game. Because it's undeniably bad, but it's really strange. Yeah, and it's got enough about it that it's not just... So, you know, we've played some games that are strange, but but so lacking. Like, mm. Robin Hood's Quest was a bit of a weird game. Yeah. But it was just it was so basic and rubbish. But this... 
I don't know, it's got cutscenes, it's got all this music. It offers us oh. so much. I love it when a game is bad, but it tries really hard. It yeah, just it gives yeah. us a lot of material to work with rather than it just does. being, you know. It says Bare Snow bones. White and the Seven Dwarfs, but it's just like a tile moving puzzle game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is very bizarre. But anyway, we hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for coming along. Peter, they can get it two days early if they go to our Patreon. They can. Uh, you can head to patreon.com forward slash team triple jump. And if you sign yourself up for the uh, hot and fresh tier, you get worst games ever two days early via Patreon. Mm. Um, and uh, everyone else will get it on a Sunday, but you'll get it on a Friday. Yeah. Uh, shut up. Be quiet. Where should they share this on the internet to smooth help jazz? The, channel? the smooth jazz subreddit. <laughs> yeah. Please share it there. The target is Mad Dog Bates. No. Trigger the security system and lure him out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.